Welcome to a time in the shade in Shady Oak Ministries, and now, what's making news? In light of time in the shade, engaging in shorter and individually based formats, a communication barrier has become more and more pronounced between the jokes and the audience. So, in order to prevent a lack of understanding, I would like to speak to them in terms that they'll understand. You losers can't read the title, and I'll bet you goofy, ah, uh, ah, uh, racist bigots don't even know who Norm is. Educate yourself or go cry or something. Cry more. Cry more. I ain't Karen because you're all racist bigots. Racist bigots. Do better because you all are a bunch of oppressive Trump supporters who voted for Hitler. I'm so triggered, I just can't even with you right now. In an insane world, it is the saint who is called crazy. Matt Dillahunty recently dodged a bullet in a debate when his opponent brought up the fact that he didn't know whether his wife was actually a man or not, he immediately left to make sure he hadn't actually told anyone. The truth will be revealed! Woohoo! Right on, Squidward! Osama bin Laden has become a TikTok sensation after his letter proved his attacks on the United States were justified. And after reading the evidence they provided, I was impressed at how high the score was on subway surfers. Um, I don't know what any of that means. In an article by sociologist Samuel Perry and Andrew Whitehead, they argue that the rise of internet searches for large male penises demonstrates that conservative Christians evaluate masculinity and equate it with the size of their sexual organs. With all respect due to their fields of study, if you have a bunch of married men looking up photos of large penises, the problem isn't with their religion or politics. You ugly. Andrew Tate has recently launched a new fashion line for men. The title? Orange is the new alpha. <laughs> Following their latest failed invasion of Israel, Hamas has called for a ceasefire, lest they actually have to fight like men. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong thing! No! 15 years ago, your mother gave birth to the wrong thing! <laughs> Nick Fuentes has called on all Christians to recognize that God is through with the Jewish people and that his plans exclusively belong to the church. He then proceeded to read Romans 11.1 1 and burst into flames. <laughs> I came, I saw, I got blowed up. And that's the news. Thank you all and good night.